shoot the shoot is definitely an episode. It's balls. It's balls. Now you can hear the new sound effect that I just put on my soundboard. You look disappointed. I look disappointed? I think that's just my face. All right. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the podcast, dude. This is ep- Oh, shit. I didn't put a I didn't put a movie on. I forgot to put a movie on. That's fine. You know what? One one episode without a movie, okay? That's fine. I'll remember to do it on the bonus episode. That's right, everybody. I I'm recording a bonus episode right after this one. Um so go to patreon.com slash very really good. Join the Patreon, dude. Help out. You know, support the pod if you like it. But if not, all good as well. I appreciate you being here, hanging out. This is episode 215, I believe. Um, I'm wearing a black shirt. Pretty uh, pretty bold move, if you're asking me. Because if you don't, if for those of you who don't know, I have crazy amounts of dandruff the falling off of my head all the time. Uh, it's actually pretty crazy. Um, I'm pretty sure the... I'm pretty sure a movie studio reached out one time because they were filming like a Christmas movie and they're like, we need like, uh, we need artificial snow, but uh, we just can't, there's just not enough and we need a lot of snow. And they had the, they called me in. They called me in, dude, to, um, to, you know, do my thing and show, uh, and just, it just sort of shake my head for a bit. Um, super embarrassing. Also, is this camera crooked? I feel like it is. Well, if it is, I'll fix it in the bonus episode. Um, but yeah, dude, many a times I've been like making thumbnails for my videos and shit, and then I'll just have to, and I'll see a bunch of thumbnail on my, uh, and I'll see a bunch of thumbnails on my shoulders. Yep, that's what I meant to fucking say. And I'll see a bunch of um, dandruff, not thumbnails. I get a bunch of people to come over to my house, clip just their thumbnails right above my shoulders, and they land right here. You got to get that thumbnail off your shoulder. That That's literally my life. It's like my kink. I'm just kidding. It's not. Um, I don't have one because every kink is weird, okay? I'm starting the episode with kink shaming. Everybody is weird. Just everyone, <laughs> everyone with a kink is weird, okay? Just do missionary with the lights off the way God intended it, okay? That's it. That's the only thing you should be doing. You fucking freaks, dude. I'm into... I'm into freaking crickets. You're like, what? That's a common one, I'm sure. Uh, I'm just kidding. I don't fucking care what you do. Um, Dude... I got my fucking uh, slurp juice right here. Got my slurp juice, my bottle of slurp juice. Um, I'm going to... Dude, that's another sound effect I should add, dude. I got to add the cha-ching sound effect, and I got to add um, the Fortnite like, drinking a, a shield juice. Um, my chug jug. My Fortnite juice, you know? So and then every time I'm drinking, it'd be like, <laughs> no free promo, dude. Who knows what this mystery blue drink is? You'll never know. I will give a shout out to Red Bull, though. Shout out Red Bull. Um, they sent me a lot of drinks, and it's and it's fucking awesome, man. I didn't have any today because I had a bunch of coffee, so I didn't want to didn't want to fucking die. So, um, yo, okay, dude. Special huge announcement alert. Special huge announcement alert. This is the first, I guess by the time this comes out, uh, it will be announced. And I hope it's still, yeah, okay. It'll be Thursday or Friday. Yeah, okay. So, folks, I am, this is literally, okay, I've never actually said it out loud. It's crazy. I've actually, uh, I'm, this is like the biggest announcement of my entire career thus far. Um, it's something I've been wanting to do for literally like 10 years and it's finally happening and it's crazy. Okay. So on June 2nd in Toronto, 
I am filming a comedy special, okay? I am filming my hour comedy special, the hour that I've been bringing out on the road the past two years. And uh, yeah, man, it's going to be fucking awesome. I'm doing two shows at the Danforth Music Hall and just right in Toronto, man. Fucking iconic venue for an iconic comedy special, okay? It's my very first one. Um, all the details of when that is, will be out, it will be a few months down the road, obviously, but um, yeah, man, fucking super exciting. So tickets go on sale on Friday, uh, Friday 10, 10 a.m. local time, Eastern time, uh, well, local time, sorry, local time, but most of the uh, you're probably going to be Eastern because it's in Toronto. But um, but yeah, I hope you guys come out. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be fucking sick. I'm really excited. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, we've been, I've been working on it for fucking, well, the material I've been working on for years, but this special in particular, we've been, uh, I'm working with the a whole fucking team, dude. It's crazy, man. There's like producers, directors, set design. There's like, lighting audio it's like a whole fucking thing it's crazy dude so i'm i'm fucking stoked there's gonna be two shows i hope you come out if you're able to um yeah grab some tickets and uh be in my special dude witness history my very first comedy special dude it's fucking nuts man um so yeah dude super stoked for that that's gonna be fucking awesome and um yeah what else has been what else has been going on, dude? I was, um, my video on Anthony Padilla's channel came out. If you haven't watched that, go give it a watch. Um, dude, so fun. Um, recorded that like five, six weeks ago. So it's like, I forgot what I said. And it was like coming out on Friday. And I was like, um, he like posted and he's like, spend a week with Curtis coming out this Friday. And I was like, fuck, what did I even say? Like, what did I even talk about? You know? Because in my brain, I have this, like, fear that no matter... If I'm not editing it... Like, I know I didn't say anything crazy or offensive. Because, like, why would I? You know? But in my head, I'm like, oh, you said... You said um, you said in that video that uh, being gay is a choice. Like, I, in my head, I'm like, that's what I said. But obviously, I would never fucking say that. Uh, I think it's just my brain that's always trying to sabotage me. Um, but no, man, it was fucking so cool. He's, like, such a good interviewer. Like, a, an S-tier listener, you know? Like, very good at just listening. And also, because usually, I, I'm guilty of this too. It's like, when someone is talking, I'm just waiting for them to finish to be like, uh, to say the thing that I want to say. And it's not because I'm not re- listening. It's not because I'm being rude. It's like, I'm going to forget what I wanted to say if I don't just say it as soon as I can. And I fear that I won't have anything else to add if I don't remember this thing, if I don't say this thing immediately, you know, because uh, my brain sucks. Um, but he was just like, just so, like, so attentive. Is that the right word? Such a good interviewer, dude. I, I, I learned a lot from him. And it was so crazy for me because, like, that's, um, you know, don't, don't, nobody fucking tweet this at Anthony, but I was like a fuck, I was like, He's, like, probably the reason I started doing video in a way, you know? Not in a direct way that I've been, like, you know, I I, I never, like... I grew up watching Smosh, obviously, and, um, like, I was a fucking diehard fan. I had their music on my iPod, Boxman and shit, like, all that stuff. Like, Food Battle, it was, like, the was my fucking Oscars. Like, I was so excited every year for Food Battle and shit. Like, they were just so funny, and I wanted, like, I just, I wanted to be both Anthony and Ian so bad. I thought they were so cool. Um, so, yeah, bro, it's just crazy to watch that now and be like, um, like, if, if, like, if, I could, if, like, if, if 10 year old, 10 or 11, 12 year old me could, like, look back, um, or, like, no, not look back, but, like, if 10, 11, 12 year old me, like, saw that video now, he'd be like, that's fuck good for me, man. That's fucking awesome, you know? It's just really cool when shit like that happens, you know? People that you grew up, that you look up to, and then you get to, like, work with them on their... And they want it. It's crazy, man. It's fucking... It's wild, dude. It's fucking... Life is crazy, dude. It's fucking... I don't get it, but... Yeah, so it's cool to have 
have Anthony to, you know, want me to be on a, on his channel. And I was supposed to be on Smosh like a while ago, but it didn't, it didn't work out. I didn't have the time. Um, I mean, and when I say I was supposed to, I mean like, uh, I, there was an invite and I said, yes, I'm down, but I, unfortunately I had a prior commitment, which was H3. So I, uh, when I did that podcast, so, um, a few months back. So that was like, yeah, but it's so cool that that even was going to happen. And I don't know. And the whole, dude, the whole time, I uh, fuck, I was, I was like hanging out with Ian, uh, a few months ago. And I was just like, it was like the first time I actually had like a, just a one-on-one like combo with him for a bit. And with every, every minute in my head, I was like, what the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> like, this is, this is fucking, this is Ian, dude. Like it was like, it was crazy, man. So life is crazy, man. Just keep doing what you're doing. Hopefully, it, you know, keep doing what you love. Hopefully it works out. Cause it, you know, it works out for, for me. So it worked, it can work out for you. Um, Folks, we got a fucking banger. Is this poo tube? Or this is like shitty TikTok of the week. Yeah. I'll play my shitty TikTok of the week uh theme song. Fucking banger. Um okay, so let me preface this. Um so I am a I'm a married man. All right. Um sorry. I, I was going to say sorry fellas. Um cuz uh those are usually the, the the DMs I get um are from are from boys that uh that want to date me. So but you can't. So sorry. Um That's the thing, dude. Guys are just like fucking They'll just say anything in a DM, you know? It's crazy, dude. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm a married man, all right? I'm a married man. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot to talk about that, too. Shit. What I was going to say is I went to my friend Noel's show in Toronto on the weekend, and it was very funny. He's fucking really, really talented. And uh, he's 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 a lot better at stand up. Like he's a million times better than me, and I and I got a little jealous, but it's all good because he's my friend. I'm proud of him, and uh, he's fucking killing it, and I'm happy for him. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, if you have a chance to go see Noel, fucking do it because this show is really genuinely like one of the best sets I've ever seen in my life. So go support the boy. All right, back to this shitty TikTok. So I'm a married man. All right, I'm a married man. Um. And you know, the marriage, you know, it's it's a it's a day where you can get everybody together, celebrate your love for one another, you know. And you know, and, and you have all the people you love there, and that's great, right? Um and this doesn't always happen at like all the all the weddings, but there's you know, there's a thing that happens when the bride and groom exchange their vows. Okay? Hey, you know, it's like I, I vow to always, you know, pick up the pizza on the way home or, you know, something cute like that. But then it's like, but I vow to, but at the end, they serious up and they're like, but at the end of the day, all jokes aside, I vow to always be there for you and I'll, I'll be there all the time. I'll never go to work or go to a roller coaster park or go to the mall or I'll never go to Nebraska or anything else. I'll just be home. I'll be with you all the time. That's usually how most vows end. Um, so, and those are, those are great, you know, vows are, are very nice. Um, but there was one video that's sort of been going, uh, viral on TikTok. Sorry for my use of that word. Um, but it's going viral though. It's, it's like, uh, it's getting a lot of attention. Okay. It's a, it's a video of a, of, of a vow of a, of a husband giving his vows and there's no other way for me to really describe this so i'm gonna um we're gonna play this stuff and i think the best way to play this is to play her vows first and then we'll play and then we'll play the we'll play we'll play the 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 bride's vows 
and then we'll play the the husband's vows, okay? Because there's a crazy contrast. Hey, Apple, keep your shit in the same spot. This time the headphone jack is on the left side. Okay, let's watch her vows. My knight in shining armor, my best friend, my biggest pain in the ass. Our adventure started a little shy of 10 years ago. And in that 10 years, we have already accomplished so much together and created a beautiful life. When I met you in school, I started crushing on you, but I didn't dare let it be known because I thought you were too good for me. So I let it go. If they say if you truly love someone or something, let it go. And if it comes back to you, then it was meant to be. Now uh-huh. here you are standing in front of me on our wedding day. I'm more than thankful for every day with you. You have completely stolen my heart, and I honestly never want you to give it back. Uh-huh. You are one of the most selfless, funniest, caring people I have ever met, not to mention very accident prone. <laughs> <laughs> We've created two of the most beautiful girls in this world together. Okay, we cute. Bought- so they have uh, they have they have children. They have two little, little girls. Um, that's nice. So that's good to know. They're you know they've been together for a while. They got kids. They're very in love. That's Our great. Our first house. We've made it through the rough times and the good times. And since I have you, I know we will always make it through. Thank you for choosing me to create your life with. I know I'm no model, by far not a good cook, unless you want soggy meatloaf. <laughs> and as we all know... Man, nothing wrong with soggy meatloaf, right? Better than dry oh, I'm meatloaf. The, I'm sorry, I'm nitpicking. Real sleeping beauty with a temper. But thank you for loving me still, the way you do. You are literally making the fairy tale I always dreamed of come true. Well, maybe a little more funnier than I imagined. But Aww. it's still way more than I could ever ask for. I will forever want you rocking beside me when we're old, talking about our day, making jokes, recalling memories. Very if cute. If you could leave out the passing gas, though, I'd greatly appreciate it. <laughs> I love you so much, Michael John Lentini, and I promise to choose you every day for the rest of my life and beyond that. Okay. So I'm sorry that was a little long, but... Uh... <laughs> sorry, fucking dickhead. Uh, the wedding vows were a little long. All right, speed it up, lady. I got, I got all day. Um, okay, so those are her vows, right? Very sweet, right? You can tell she's very in love with this man. You know, very cute. Um, now, let's watch the guy's vows. Um, when the groom said... Okay, so yeah, I guess this is the photographer or videographer of the wedding, and he posted this on TikTok. So let's, uh, let's this see. This earlier in the wedding day? Anything you want to say to your future bride? I hope we have a lot of sex. A lot. I should have known okay. his vows were going to go like this. Okay, so that is the one thing he wanted his wife to. That's the one thing I want to say to his future wife is that I hope we have a lot of sex. His wife. Which, you know, that's an important part of a relationship. But, like, there's a lot more, <laughs> you know? Uh, sorry, let's watch the... Uh, let's let's watch his, his vows. You're screwed. <laughs> Only two things are required to keep me happy. Keep my belly full and my balls empty. Hey! Yo! Dude, that's a big old... Uh? Keep my belly full and my balls empty. Uh. (laughs) Well, you're amazing at half of it. We really need to get you some cooking lessons. (laughs) Even when my belly isn't full, there is no one I could ever love more in this lifetime unless I actually get a chance to meet Margot Robbie. Since the beginning, I was always told life gets even better when the kids fall asleep and you tell me to come to the bedroom. <laughs> Nothing's better than the sound of gagging and headboard slamming. Michael. P- Yo, dude, I can't even get through that shit. Imagine, is that like their mom or something who's like officiating the wedding? Imagine having the officiator person or like the whoever's fucking marrying you be like, yo, that's enough. 
<laughs> Stop. Yeah, since you're so good at making decisions like Mary and me, you can choose whether tonight's going to end with being a toaster, strudel, or a Twinkie. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> All right. I'm... Being that I am his mom, I will deal with him later. He is grounded. <laughs> By all means. <laughs> Dude. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Man. First off, <sighs> the stomach full and balls empty thing. Disgusting. Holy shit. Um, but then to be like, I love you so much. In your vows. Your vows to your, your wife. To be like, I love you so much. Unless... Uh, unless I meet Margot Robbie, unless I meet another f girl, then you're fucking, then fuck you. Dude. Pull my balls empty. It's so, okay. And th they have kids, man. There are kids, th they're like, they're there, I bet. The two kids. Imagine growing up. And then seeing this shit, and you're like, hey, you want to watch... Wanna watch wanna watch our wedding video? It's like we wanna watch your wedding video, Mom and Dad. We we'd love to see that. You know, we were just kids, we didn't really remember it. We'd love we'd love to uh we'd love to watch it again. And they're like, ah, well. Nah. <laughs> nah. No. No, actually we no. We you can't do that. Like it's such an inappropriate and no matter how funny this guy thinks he is or how funny she thinks he is, time and place, you know? Even, like, the reception, that would have been even better. But that, that the ceremony? Is that, what, that, is that what weddings are supposed to be? You just talk about cum the whole time? Do you, uh, do you, Janet, promise to slurp every drop of jizz out of, uh, out of Stephen's cock? Do you, do you, do you swear on your mom's life that you will suck and suck until you, until he is a wrinkly bag of bones and skin? You sucked him dry of all his of all his of all his fucking cum. Is that do you, do you? She's like I do. And he's like, and then he's like, do you, Stephen? Promise to always cum <laughs> a lot. Heaps, do you do you prop? Will you always come in heaps? Will you always come a bunch? Will you say I do? I do. And by the power vested in me, Stephen, you may come. Oh! <laughs> and everybody cheers. Is that what it's supposed to be? Is that that's what he that's what he wanted? That was his dream wedding. Also, were they like talking beforehand? Be like, so when we do our vows, is like, is jizz off the table or, or can I talk about cum? Dude, that's crazy. So, yeah, those are the. Oh yeah, so it, it it doesn't end there, right? So super inappropriate, you know, but the bride in the video um commented on this videographer's TikTok and this is the comment. So I'm the bride and no this isn't a red flag. We have been together for 10 years now and decided to get married right before our 10th year. Doesn't mean it's not a red flag still, you know? It's still a crazy thing that happened. Um let's um Okay, let's watch it. I haven't actually seen this video. Yet. Michael, if you may now kiss your bride. Alright, well I'm gonna turn this audio off because I don't want to get copyright, but Alright, so they're happy, I guess. Dude. Okay, cool. 
Um, and then it keeps, it keeps going, dude. It keeps get the the plot thickens because we get an actual TikTok from the bride. Okay. So, if you've seen the vows on TikTok that have now gone viral, I'm that bride. So, with that being said, yes, I'm happy. Yes, I'm still married. Yes, I love my wedding. And there is nothing that I would have changed. I- like, really, though? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Tr- Listen, I, don't, I know nothing about this couple... It doesn't matter, right? It's not my wedding. It's not any of our wedding. But, like, really? You wouldn't change that? Your your husband, the one who's going to spend the rest of your life with you to go up and be like, so, yeah, I hope you fucking suck and fuck me until we die, and that's it. That's literally it. I just want you to be a ball drainer. Like, that's insane, dude. I loved his vows. I loved my vows. I loved our wedding day. His vows showed a piece of his personality, which is the humor side. And that, dude, that's the thing. You could be funny without being so fucking gross. You know? It's a, it's a wedding. It's your wedding, dude. And your mom is beside you. And your kids are watching. Dude, if my mom was beside me, there's no way. Even if I were to ever have a child, it's not happening. Ever. I fucking don't. I don't want kids. But um, if that were to ever happen, I wouldn't even, like, want to tell my family. Because then that would mean that they know that I've, like, had intercourse at one point in my life. Like, that's so... Don't fuck... That's private. I don't want my fucking family to know that, but then is, imagine your son being like, oh my God, you suck the cum right out of me balls. And you're like, God, my Jesus Christ. Which is definitely my goal. <laughs> my vow showed my side a little bit of my personality, which is not outspoken like Michael. Very two opposites, and yet we go together so damn well. I have known him since 2010. This is how he was since then. Um, we started dating in 2013. He was like this then, then. So I knew what I was getting myself into when we started dating and before we got married, considering we've been together 10 years now. Oh, um, man. I've seen people say we have a toxic relationship and that... We aren't going to have a relationship. We'll say we have a toxic relationship and that we aren't going to last and this and that. And honestly, you can say what you want. I know you're wrong because I actually know my relationship and I know myself and I know Michael. Okay, facts. All right. Go off, queen. I, I feel that. Okay. But like, you gotta know. Dude, these comments too. Do you think he'd speak to Margot Robbie like that? See, there's this river in Egypt. Denial. We accept the love we think we deserve. Damn. This is so sad. Funny vows are totally okay, but his were downright disrespectful. He deserves so much better. Yeah, true. That's the other thing. It's like it wasn't just him trying to be funny. It was just it was him just like objectifying her and just sexualizing her in front of and sort of like demeaning and degrading her in front of like her whole family and his. I only see you as a whole. So you're my whole world minus the world. You're my whole. Like, fuck, man. <clears throat> so. I'm sorry if you're just not that happy with your life. My life is very eventful all the time. There is never a dull moment in my relationship. I'm sorry if you don't yeah, have I the bet. same. And if you don't want the same, good for you. Go find someone who... Damn, okay. So, yeah, it honestly it seems like she's a little bit in uh, in denial. But, again, what do I know? Right? Um... 
But the plot thickens once again, okay, with another TikTok that the bride posts, okay? Took a turn that I was not expecting, okay? Only two things are required to keep me happy, keep my belly full and my balls empty. Well, Michael, there's only one thing I require to keep me happy, and it's a vibe. It's reliable, always there when I want it, doesn't tire easily, and it's just so cute. Dude, she got a brand deal. Honestly, dude. Didn't expect it. Did not expect it at all, dude. Dude, the bride got a brand deal. What a crazy claim to fame. <laughs> Imagine she becomes like the next like fucking superstar TikTok. TikTok celebrity, right? It's like Kim Kardashian. How that sex tape came out. You know, like without her consent, right? Is that how that happened? You know, if it was like of a, of a guy like sexualizing her like crazy and then was like, yo, look. And then she became, you know, like, obviously she did other stuff, but, you know, obviously, you know, weird comparison. But I'm just saying like that, this is a crazy way to like become popular, right? To be like, um, fucking, so my husband, he likes uh, and this for a vibrator, I believe, right? And luckily, there's no gatekeeping here. I'm spraying the love and giving you all vibes. For every single person who signs up at the link in my bio, you'll either win a free vibrator or a gift card. Okay, was that the vibrator 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 <laughs> when she was talking? And luckily, there's no gatekeeping here. I'm spraying the love and giving you all vibes. For every single person who signs up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use it while you're filming the video, dude. Signs up at the link in my bio. You'll either win a free vibrator or a gift card. It's that easy, dude. That's so funny, man. Honestly, get the bag, dude. Get the bag, okay. And then empty the bag because you're going to need something for all your husbands. Come. He has a lot of it. Okay. He's over. He's up to his, his fucking back teeth are floating, dude. That's how much cum he's got in, in, his, in his body, apparently. His, he has so much cum that his back teeth are floating. Dude. The brand, the brand deal is the craziest thing about all this. Because, like, a brand saw this and was like, yo, your husband hates you, but we don't. Okay? Dude, that's crazy, man. Like, how, much, how many followers does she have? You know what I mean? 7,300. Okay, so they must have seen the amount of views that she was getting, and they're like, um, yeah, let's fucking hit her with hit her with a brand deal, you know? Lincoln Lincoln bio. All right. Dude. It's I just <laughs> that's gotta be the grossest wedding vows of all time, dude. And I'm look, I'm an I'm an inappropriate guy. I'm pretty crass, you know. I I say a few curse words, I'm pretty vulgar. But, like, I, only when I'm, like, filming videos and, like, making podcasts and shit, right? At a wedding, dude? He, like, was this guy doing, like, a fucking, like, when his fucking, when God, you know, God forbid that his mom fucking, like, dies one day and he has to do the speech at her fucking, like, funeral? So I was just, uh, on my way here, I was getting sucked off. And um, and it, and it felt so good that I that I I uh, passed out, and um, I think my heart actually stopped, and I saw the light. You know, I died. I was pronounced dead on the way here for uh, uh for about two minutes. 
And I spoke to my mom in those two minutes because she is dead and we are here at her funeral. And that those two minutes that when I, after I came so hard, I died, I was talking to my mom in heaven and, um, she was saying all these nice things to me, saying how she's proud of me and how, um, um, and how don't be sad that I'm dead now, you know, um, you know, it's going to be fine. And she loves all of you, but I could, but, I couldn't fucking listen to a word she was saying because I was too busy thinking about my next nut. All right? I said, Mom, shut the fuck up. Leave me alone. And then I finally came to. And I came to. I came twice. I came for a second time on the way here. So, um, yeah, rest in peace, Mom. I'll be... In the bathroom, uh, making my wife feel bad about herself. Dude, like, sh- time and a place is what I'm saying, you know? Dude, what are we at? Have I been talking for a fuck for 37 minutes, dude? Man. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, well, uh, cool. I guess I'll fucking end it there. Um, I got a bonus episode to record and also another main episode because I'm going to be in Australia and I don't have time for podcasts. So, um, yo, yeah, thanks for listening. That's it. I'm going to wrap it up here. But thank you so much for watching slash listening. Press the like button. Press uh fucking comment button and then leave a comment and then fucking en- press enter and then uh press subscribe button. Join the Patreon, dude. Uh, look out for tickets to my show in Toronto. Um, but yeah, man, that's it. And uh, yeah, if you got a if you got a husband, just you know, empty out his balls. Okay, that's the that's the fucking the, our lesson of the day. But cool. Thanks so much. Appreciate you. Be safe. Peace out.